Hey guys, it's Wednesday, so today we're going to plan my monthly spread as well as my notes page and my Erin Condren Life Planner Turn Homeschool Planner. So, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. If you're a new viewer, I'm Novia, and please don't hesitate to click that subscribe button down below. It's right there. Right there. Also, please don't forget to click the little bell next to it so you can be notified when I post my next videos. So today I'm planning out my February homeschool schedule where I note all the major events that are happening for this month and also my note page where I list major to do's, book lists, and much, much more. I'm going to be using two printable sticker kits, one for my notes page and one for my monthly spread. Both are from Planerology Studio and both have the theme name of Sugar and Spice. The monthly notes pages come with four sticker sheets. I'm not going to be using all of these because I don't necessarily need all of them, but it is nice to have, you know, options. And for the monthly kit, you get another four sticker sheets that I'll be using in the monthly spread. I like this kit because in her monthly spread kit, she uses or she includes major holidays to put in your spread. For homeschooling, this kit may be a bit much for my day-to-day -day needs, but I use leftovers in my daily pages and my catch-all planners, so it's a win-win for me anyway. I usually start off with my notes page. In this Planerology Studio kit, it's different than previous kits I've used because it has a memory keeping aspect to it. I plan on using it as a reflection of what Baby Planner noted into at the time school-wise because knowing these things can help in the future with picking curriculum and lesson planning. Other things I use the notes section for are for noting important to-dos, a library checkout book list, birthdays so Baby Planner Nerd can write them a birthday letter, which I double as extra writing practice, and also major events that are non-negotiable and or paid for. Something new I'm doing this month is adding a tracker down at the bottom to track our progress with a different curriculum that we're using. It gives me a quick overview of how fast we're progressing through each subject. Lately, Baby Planner Nerd has been on a diary themed book binge. She started reading the Dear Dumb Diary series and the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series after resisting it for so long. I think she resisted to buck the trend. She doesn't like to do what everyone else is doing. She's a rebel that way. But she's also shown interest in wanting to start a diary, so I'm looking into ways to include that in our lessons. Not necessarily diary writing, but maybe some journal prompts. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. And this wraps up my February note section thus far. I notice a lot of people don't really use their monthlies, but I'm not one of them. Because sometimes you just need a quick overview of what's happening in your life. And my homeschool planner is not just for lesson planning, and it's not just for the pretty. It's also a form of record keeping for me. After a year is completed, I archive it and use it as a reference for whatever the current year is that we're schooling. Because some local events reoccur at the same time every year, and it's nice to look back and be like, oh, Space Day happened in this month last year, and she may want to go to it again this year. So I know to keep an eye out for registration around, you know, springtime. So on my monthly spread, I note major holidays, the dates of said non-negotiable events, birthdays so that I know when to get my baby planner nerd started on her birthday letters and also when I need to actually get them in the mail, any trips that we're taking so I can slide in some learning opportunities while we're gone, and a new section I'm adding this month is a section for noting memories and cool things that happen. And it doesn't have to be anything major. They can be milestones that she made in her schooling, fun things that we've done, milestones in her social development, cool things she's built while destroying my house in the process. It doesn't matter. They're just things I may want to remember, you know, when she gets older, because she's 10. Lord, she's 10. <laughs>
This month I signed her up for ukulele classes after she's begged me for ukulele classes forever. And in typical preteen style, she all of a sudden doesn't want to do ukulele classes after I signed her up for a 16 class course. Yeah, too bad Smalls, it's happening. We waste zero dollars in this house. <laughs> So here's the monthly spread. Please give me a thumbs up down below. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, bye.